right off the bat, I want to let it be known that I am not a woke apologist. I hate the new Star Wars shows just as much as you do, but I don't believe Zelda has become woke. I do think Zelda has become a bit disappointing and something I don't recognize anymore, but I don't believe it's woke, and here's why. First of all, Nintendo is a Japanese company, and while there are some Japanese gaming companies that care a lot about Western gaming trends and listening to the North American division, I don't believe Nintendo is one of them. Nintendo of Japan calls the shots, and Nintendo of America, especially without Reggie at the helm anymore, doesn't really dictate the direction of games. Now, you might point to the Super Mario Bros. movie as proof that Nintendo is going woke and why Americans are influencing the company. However, I think that Illumination, when making the Mario movie, influenced Nintendo to make Princess Peach more of a girl boss at the expense of actual character development for her. But that's because Nintendo is not an expert at making movies. They probably listened to their Western partners and agreed that Princess Peach should be a quote-unquote strong female character that don't need nobody. Zelda, on the other hand, while it is more popular in the West than in Japan, is a sacred cow for Nintendo. I don't believe they would let trends completely dictate the direction of the series. And here's the big thing. The damn game is called The Legend of Zelda. But to this date, we haven't really gotten a single game starring Zelda. And no, the Philips CDI games will never count. Gee, it sure is boring around here. There's also the fact that just because a game stars a female character doesn't mean it's automatically woke. I agree that it seems suspicious when a game that primarily starred a male character for decades switches to a female character, but not in this particular case. Nintendo has talked about wanting a game starring Sheik, who, spoiler alert, is actually Zelda, years ago, before the term woke was even popular. It makes sense that Nintendo should make at least one game that actually stars the character being referenced in the title of the series. There's nothing woke about it unless Nintendo only makes games starring Zelda from here on out. And while that is a possibility, I highly doubt that will happen. My suggestion to everybody crying woke whenever a character is quote unquote diverse is to shut up until you have all the facts. Sometimes you're right. Sometimes, like in the case of Disney, there is a company directive to make things more, well... David Gay! Sure, yeah. But, in the case of a Japanese company like Nintendo, who historically doesn't give a shit about what the West actually wants, hence why they didn't make nothing but first-person shooters during the PS3 and Xbox 360 generation, the chance of this game being made just because they want to make Zelda woke is slim to none. Now, that's not to say I have no issues with this game's direction. I wasn't a fan of Tears of the Kingdom as much as I wanted to be, and I am dying for the day Nintendo just makes another Ocarina of Time or Twilight Princess type of game. I also could not care less about the recent Minecraft-inspired crafting or building mechanics that seem to be infecting every game. But the game does look a little fun, and I'll give it a chance when it launches. Will I love it as much as Majora's Mask? Hell no. There's no chance, but not every game needs to be a masterpiece, and not every game needs to star a male character. I don't think, honestly, that this game would be that much better if the male hero Link starred in the game instead. It just doesn't seem like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece no matter what character stars in this game. So no, Zelda has not become woke just because Zelda stars in her own game. But rather, I think the series has become an 8 out of 10 franchise rather than the 10 out of 10 it used to be. And this happened before they put a chick in it. And make your fucking game! Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.